have a quick project share for you. I did one of these 3D teapots for saw crafters and normally I order a few of them for my craft fairs and I fill them with tea and honey and lemon and sugars um, and stirs and I think I did cookies this year too. Um, you know, and I sell it as a package, a tea package, but this one I had left over and I wanted to do note cards in this one. So that's what I did. I did um, 10 little note cards for um, whoever I give this to. And the paper pad I used is this um, Bella Rose paper. And so I'll get started on showing you what I did. So I just, I, cut, I painted it red. I gessoed it and then painted it red. And then I just paper pieced. And I actually made a cut file with my brother's scan and cut so that I could, because I do a bunch of them, so I could cut them all out at one set of different paper. And then I just did a little floral arrangement. These are from Craft Supplies for You. This is a Recollections flower from Michaels, and these are I Am Roses, I believe, or Wild Orchid Crafts, I'm not sure. Um, my flowers are all mixed together. And then these beaded um, words and letters, I put my friend there. And then for the notepads, now these are all they have the envelope and the envelope was a four and a half by a four and a half sheet of paper and I scored at two and a quarter I believe and then um, with my the punch board I did these because the punch board only goes to I believe three by two and a half something or two and a half by three um, but they don't go any smaller than that so I had to kind of figure it out on my own but the first one is thank you, and I kind of mixed these all up. I did different ones, um, and I used like my ephemera that I had in my stash, and I used some of the paper for this. Um, I just wanted all different note cards. I didn't want them all to be the same. So, and I used Baker's twine, and I used my Diamond Eyes Butterfly um, punch, and I used. Um, some spellbinder dies. I just mixed it all up. Um, kind of wanted to get, you know, all different cards because I didn't want them all to be the same. And I used this was the sugar plum die for the flower. I used some sequins. I used some, these are the kind of like flat back pearl um, embellishments. So. And just some stamping. I did some stamping. So um, I think we're back to the beginning. I think this was the first one I showed you. And I used the stapler for some of them. Popped it up on um, pop dots. Just very basic. But I think it's so sweet. And it's it's a cute little gift to give to someone, um, you know, for Mother's Day or whatnot. So that's just my quick share. Thanks, everybody, for watching.